Welcome to The Wraparound. My name is Braden Dyerson. And I'm Nick Stonecipher. We'll be covering all the local news in and around State College. Um, starting off, uh, the Penn State regular season finished um, on Saturday. Um, Penn State lost to Michigan State 30-27. to And what are your thoughts on the season overall? I didn't watch the game, so I don't know. All I know is it was a little snowy. Yeah, it was like quite... Um a snowstorm, but hey, that's Big Ten weather. I mean, I think that uh, people, per usual with Penn State, there were like high expectations, and we bought into our own hype, but you know, I think we did decently well. Um, yeah, I mean, we yeah. started off great, and then, I don't know, I feel like after a loss like Illinois. Yeah, especially Illinois is probably the one that we shouldn't have lost to. Also, Iowa, we probably could have won, but like, yeah. Clifford got hurt, but Ohio State's a good team. Michigan's a good team. But it's good to be back. It's the first season since yeah. since everything went down. So Exactly. Hey. Yeah. Let's go next year. Ten more years of the Franklin <laughs> Dynasty. Yes, um, ten years. Which, oh, yeah. What do you guys think about the contract? I don't care enough. I mean, <laughs> I, I, yeah, I could honestly care less. I mean, I don't think that Franklin's the problem. Um, Who's the problem then, Braden? The, who's the problem? I mean, the problem is just that it's college football, so, like, you're never going to be able to... You're at the mercy of your recruits who you, like, can't predict. So I don't think that we had the talent to make a run for it this year, period. Yeah. All, right, so. All right, well, moving on, our next story involves an ultra-marathon runner by the name of, and forgive me, George Etzweiler. Um, he's 101 years old. I mean, I don't know what else there is to say about that. That's it's very, just impressive. Yeah, that. What are you doing with your life? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, really. I can barely run like two miles. Yeah, this man is running 50 miles in the Tussie Mountain. That's that was That's, his most recent thing. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, this is insane. Like I get out of breath running on the treadmill, mm -hmm. um, and I'm 20. So yeah. It's just, just demoralizing, I guess. I'm just the f the fact that a hundred and one year old can walk, you know, is impressive. Much less like run fifty miles. Yeah, I'm gonna sit around and eat like a big burger or something and just think about yeah. the lazy. Exactly. I'm not gonna. Yeah, that's all. I, that's all I got on that one. Um, also, be sure to check out the story by um, Sam Borelli. She's a great reporter and. Um, it's very insightful to read about this guy. There you go. At uh, collegian.psu.edu. All right. That's our next one. All right. Now everybody's favorite topic, now that it's December 1st, and it's actually reasonable. So it's reasonable to it's talk reasonable, about Christmas yeah, now. It's reasonable, yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, so the question on everybody's mind is, can we listen to Christmas music now? I mean, I feel like December 1st, yeah, yeah, it's appropriate to probably, I mean, my role is after Thanksgiving, mm -hmm. um, generally okay. Uh, Thanksgiving. Are, are you one of those people that like as soon as Thanksgiving's over, like the day after, you're blasting the Mariah Carey? No, I mean. We all know those types of people. Yeah, exactly. I mean, there are the people who like blast it, Mariah Carey. I got like irritated like two weeks before. In the collegiate office, some people were blasting Mariah Carey. I almost snapped the laptop in half. Um, I mean, I can only stand one round of Mariah Carey during the actual season itself. Yeah. Like, every time I hear those chimes, uh, I, like, go a little insane. <laughs> I, I love that song, so I'm not going to sit here and slam it. I love it. Dude, we had to sing it. Back in high school, I was in chorus, and uh, you know, seventh through twelfth grade, that's what we like finished our like holiday concert with mm -hmm. every year, and it was just the cringiest thing in the world. She still gets like number one spots on the Billboard like every year. This yeah, no, it's crazy. Yeah, so we can we can sit here and talk this smack while she's bringing it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, she's gonna start suing the podcast. Right. Um, why? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I love Let's that. Hear this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she, she just like goes through anything that mentions her. Yeah. Um, do you guys have a favorite Christmas song? Um, I like the um, 
Uh, the Stevie Wonder, What Christmas Means to Me. Oh. That's a good one. I don't know. I like, I like Meli Kalikimaka. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, the Hawaiian one, yeah. All right. And then, um, yeah, so, I mean, Thanksgiving is over now. So I just want to come back and wrap around. Oh. Uh, yeah, I see that. You see that? To how much mac and cheese I ate. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> and everyone's favorite Thanksgiving meal. It's not. Yeah, it's not. It doesn't belong in Thanksgiving. You guys don't understand. No, the fact that you ate it is so wrong. Um, it. If my plate was was about this, so this is a big plate. I had maybe thirty percent of that plate was a big scoop of some mac and <laughs> oh my cheese. God. What is wrong with you? Yeah, that's like you guys don't get it. You just, is it like the, is it the craft like? No, no. It's a, what, what, what's wrong with you? It's, it's up. <laughs> He's like a big cook's craft. <laughs> it's like the um, stepping up Thanksgiving. Yeah, the little like SpongeBob, you know. Those are, that's the, be, that's the best craft mac and cheese. The SpongeBob. Yes. Are you a shells guy? Yeah. What? Have you seen the shells mac? Like, oh. Do you like, do, like little shells instead of? Did little you have shells? like? Um, like chicken nuggets and like the frozen peas too at Thanksgiving. What? Yeah, I, yeah. I, got, I got the, the little the full too. microwave. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Pop that in the microwave. Yeah. You, you just don't exactly. get it. When it when that mac and cheese come out the oven, there, there's nothing there's nothing stopping it. I mean, homemade mac and cheese smacks. Different. So that's what I mean. It's but good. it's not for Thanksgiving. That's a Thanksgiving meal, right? When I think of Thanksgiving, mac and cheese is not on the table. There's plenty of stuff that is good. That's it's just not at Thanksgiving. All right. Y'all can, can sit here and think this in ignorance. But <laughs> I, I, that's all I have to say on this. So I'm uh, Nick Stonecipher. And I'm Brian Dyerson. And this has been The Wraparound. Be sure to subscribe to all of our social media platforms. And thank you for watching.